Tom Arsenault, President and CEO of Bay Systems, and John Sherman, Chief Information Officer of the U.S. Department of Defense, were lauded for their contributions to the government contracting sector today in two profiles published by Executive Mosaic. TCOM was chosen as one of four companies that will deliver airspace and surface radar reconnaissance aerostat systems to Poland under a $1.2 billion foreign military sale initiative. The U.S. Army will begin accepting Phase 1 and direct to Phase 2 small business proposals focused on the use of artificial intelligence in autonomous optical sensors and similar technologies. The Intelligence Advanced Research Project's activity is seeking public input to determine the feasibility of creating a generative artificial intelligence model that, after being trained on relevant data, can produce novel products based on prompts that advance, however incrementally, human knowledge in science and engineering. The Commission on Planning, Programming, Budgeting and Execution Reform, or PPBE, has released a set of recommendations for transforming and strengthening the Department of Defense's resourcing processes to meet the current and future demands of the national security environment. The Office of the National Cyber Director has presented some of the efforts the federal government has launched to implement the five pillars of the national cybersecurity strategy introduced by the Biden administration in March 2023. The National Security Agency has continued its series of cybersecurity information sheets on zero trust maturity to elaborate on strengthening internal network defense. The Office of Space Commerce within the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has tapped two new commercial vendors to provide Space Situational Awareness, or SSA, services for the Consolidated Pathfinder project. Join GovkinWire's events Fireside Chat with Tiffany Hickson from the GSA on March 18, 2024. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Terran Orbital has secured a $15.2 million contract from Axiant to provide hardware and payload integration services to the Air Force Research Laboratory to support specific U.S. Space Force missions. Eric Fanning, President and CEO of the Aerospace Industries Association and a previous WASH 100 awardee, has outlined AIA's legislative priorities for calendar year 2024 through a letter sent to congressional leaders.